<laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and lovers of drones everywhere, welcome to Thursday Night Live. Hey, it's Jason Shepard. How you What's doing? What's happening, man? Oh. I am doing outstanding. Now I got to see your smiling face tonight. It just, it makes my day. How are your teeth so white? How do you do uh, that? Yeah, I'd like to thank my sponsor, Pigeon Jerky, uh, for keeping them so white and so clean. That's, you know, people don't realize that you can take Pigeon Jerky and put it in your mouth and sleep with a sliver of pigeon jerky over your teeth and you wake up with like Joe Biden shiny teeth like over there. I was going to say Donny Osmond, but nobody gets that who's not over 50. No. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, yeah. welcome like to the show. Weeks. Big, big show tonight. Oh, the guest tonight, Michelle Miller. She and I worked Super. on the Beaner and Ken show back in the late 90s and early aughts. Do people was she call Beaner him? or was she Ken? Which one was she? <laughs> no, there was me and Michelle. She was our news oh. person. And oh. uh, Beaner, his real name's Guy. Oh. But, uh, uh, yeah. So Good name. Good name th there's, there's people watching in Birmingham right now. For one, Philip Koshat, who gave us a super chat earlier. Thank you so much for that. Uh, he, he was a big oh. fan of the, the Beaner and Ken show. And we will step back in the Wayback Machine tonight. I've got Ooh. video of me riding in the traffic plane. Oh, wow. Yeah. I've flown those traffic planes. Yeah. I've flown crazy people like you around. We That's stuffed accurate. a 300-pound dude in the back who was the traffic guy, and he was up there. I'll tell the whole story later. Anyway. I can't wait. I, so I can't wait. Michelle's on. Jason will have answers to all of your questions. If you have any questions in the chat, feel free, whether it be about drones, the FAA, or just about life in general, because he's a wise man with two watches. What's new with you and... Uh, RemotePilot101.com and M0A. Lots of exciting stuff flying around, you know, people like you in traffic planes, everything else, but uh, getting ready to actually launch our new learning management system and uh, version, I think this is version three or four now of the new remote pilot course coming out for Christmas for everybody, maybe. Okay. So that's pretty exciting. Yeah. I mean, Ken, it is, it is so good <laughs> that you're going to even pass. I'm confident. Hey, I, got, I got a 99 because of you. I, I, you can't get a 99. I, I yes. missed one question. I missed one question. Or 98. It must have been a 98. I knew you could do it. Yeah. I believed yeah. in you. Uh, but uh, so you guys update the, the questions all the time. Well, I, yeah, you, you have to. I mean, you and I talk so much via email of just all little stuff that comes out. Everything's always changing. So we're just always um, staying on top of everything. It's it's an ever-changing field. You know that. It's It's funny. Like, of course, you never age ever. But uh, no, thank if you, if you thank go you. back and look at the, some of the videos, uh, look like maybe your son is doing them, and then, <laughs> then it's like you present day, because you've been doing this for a while. I've been doing, I've been at this, so you gotta remember, we started in manned aviation. I've been at this thing 10 years. I mean, pretty soon I'm gonna have a, you know, a crown of gray like Ken Heron, and we could be brothers. You could be my father. Would you, you maybe. seem like, be honest, you seem like the kind of guy that would dye his hair. You see one gray, you're like, that's it. Okay, jet black. Do, do I seem that vain, Ken? Is that is that what you think? Yeah, Are you, you saying I'm vain? Yeah, you do. No, no, I'm just kidding. Of course <laughs> not. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you. I insult Thank you right you. out of the gate. Uh, anyway, all right. So we're going to get right to the news. But first, it's everybody's favorite snack. Ladies and gentlemen, I give to you pigeon the jerky. You'll enjoy pigeon jerky. Pigeon jerky, the Cadillac of processed meats. You'll enjoy pigeon jerky, pigeon jerky, and you'll give your family a treat. It's balanced nutrition to help them grow. Yeah, and it's full of fiber to make them go. Here we go. You'll enjoy pigeon jerky, pigeon jerky, pigeon jerky the Cadillac jerky. of processed meats. Yeah. Everybody likes the Everybody Pigeon Jerky. The they, they're a wonderful sponsor. Um, they are my second favorite sponsor. Yeah. <laughs> now, everybody likes the Pigeon Jerky. Tiberius. T cool name. Thank you for becoming a, a new member. Have we reached our, our goal of 10 yet? We've got to be close. I haven't been ca keeping a tally. Okay. Uh, and David Cassidy. Hey, my favorite partridge. $15 super chat, wire crap to the curb like an X whatever. Thank you guys. Whoa, I appreciate was, that, it. You, you know, all, all, of the, all of the new memberships and the super chats do take the sting out of the wire cast a little bit for me. I appreciate they it. They do. Yeah. They do. All right. All right, Jeff, let's continue. 
All right. So after all the DJI stuff, uh, Autel Evo is not to be outdone. Now, hold they on. Have... We didn't finish playing the not Phantom. We got to talk about this. I mean, sure, it's awesome because it's made by DJI. does all this kind of stuff. You know, gimbal batteries, uh, gimbals last a good long time. They're, they have good motor yeah. efficiency. What uh, what sort of gimbal stuff do you have, uh, Jason? Do you guys have there, a perfect Man, everything's setup? all DJI. So we started back with the Ronin. You remember, like, the original Ronin? Yeah. And my... You know, we had to get like our biggest, burliest guy to hold it because they just, it was so heavy uh, on a Canon. I think we were running a 1DC at the time with a giant Ronin. The thing had to be like 40 pounds. It was ridiculous. But so, now, now uh, you can have a man bun and work it with yeah. one hand. Whoa. What? That, yeah. That's the latest trend right now, the man bun. The I'm, yeah. <laughs> I'm, thinking about, I'm thinking about getting on board. What do you think? Did you ever have a, a phase that you went through or were you, were you always clean cut boy? No, I, I went through a Justin Timberlake phase for a while, you did, know, where you wanted like the frosted tips. You like, did not was, have frosted tips. Yeah. Did you? Nice. Yeah, I, mean, I, yeah I, I went through a JT phase. This is like, you know, before, um, you know, the I got a feeling in Trolls. This is like in sync kind of days. <laughs> Jeff, Jeff Sills knows. Jeff knows a little about Justin Timberlake, right, Jeff? Well, Jeff <laughs> Jeff uh, went through a, a phase. Uh, what, what do they call those people that, you know, the, the, the that wear the, the long uh, coats and the dudes that wear mascara. What do they call those guys? Uh, oh, the emos. Emos, punk yes. Gosh. Yeah, the emos. Yeah, he went through that, that kind of phase. He listened Ooh. to The Cure all the time, that kind of stuff. Yeah, just cries a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Nobody jeans. understands I, me. I've seen Jeff in skinny jeans. No, absolutely not. <laughs> Didn't you have a mullet? <laughs> I had a buzz cut when I was in high school. Okay. And now yeah, back to the, the back. It was a flat top, and then I did have the the little little hair tail in the back. So you know Ooh, what? You had a rat tail. That's yeah, I had rat a rat tail. tail. Oh my god! I, I think I had a rat tail for a week, and my mom would chase me around with scissors and try to get rid of it. <laughs> yeah. All right, and by the way, Michelle is probably watching this, going, "What have I got myself into?" Yeah. Uh, yeah. Crazy boys. Yeah. Sorry, Michelle. <laughs> Can we call her Shelly? You think? What if I called her Shelly? Would um, she like that? She would not like that. I okay, don't know. She might. Noted. <laughs> No, she, she might. I don't know. <laughs> I okay, never did. So back in the news. <laughs> yes. All right. So not to be outdone by DJ, Autel Evo has brought out the Pro RTK and Dual RTK. A leaked video has given pretty much confirmation that this is definitely going to happen. Uh, unfortunately, it's all in Chinese, so there's not a lot of information that um, is in English. Yeah. Um, but. The simple fact that the RTK module is something that is going to snap onto it tells us that there's going to be a different frame or possibly a different build uh, for this to be able to have the, the device taken on and off. Okay. Um, it, uh, all around is probably going to be a, a, a step up for Autel and give them more access to a lot of the industrial and commercial applications um, that they'd probably like to get their drones into. Okay, and there's a lot of people watching this right now who are thinking to themselves, well, I thought Auto was an American company. No, they're yeah. not! Surprise! They're not an American company. Yeah, not an American company. Yeah. They're, being, they're, they're making progress that direction, though, Ken. They're, they're trying. A little, why do I get blurry? Uh, I wake up. Oh, uh, well, I don't know. I got, I got things to fix. On. There we go. There, there you are. Focus. There you are. Um, they're trying. They're 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 working their their best to try to use some U.S. parts and everything else. I think it's this. I don't mean to steal your thunder, Jeff, but I think it's like this race to who can be you know all U.S. based and everything else and land these government contracts and everything else. That's the that's the race. But with the coronavirus, it makes it so hard to move things that we were manufacturing in China to get it over here so quickly. But that's that's the race right now is who can be the. Uh, you know, the U.S. drone manufacturer. And yeah. Parrot's doing a great job of it. Autel's trying to make their way over here with that, too. So it, right. it's fascinating to watch. And Autel, yeah. is, a, Autel is a great drone. Mm -hmm. But one thing that, uh, that gets me is whenever I complain about my DJI drone being geofenced in uh, a big mm -hmm. city or something, then inevitably there's always somebody who goes, well, Autel, no geofencing. You can fly wherever you want. Well, that's not always going to be the case, is it, Jason? No. No, not necessarily. They still have the same geo. Listen, we have to set parameters up for people who don't play by the rules. If everybody followed the rules and didn't go, you know, 
how Ken, last time I was your co-host, we had like two TFR baseball violations. Remember that? <laughs> Where the Mavic landed the, during the Royals game, whatever it was. It was like in the same week. And then there was yeah. the Super Bowl violation. It's there's dumb people in the world. There's gonna be geofences in the world. Your next t-shirt, Ken Heron. Yeah. Well, you know, I think people think that if there's not a rule for if there's not something preventing you from doing it, then it's okay. And that's just not the case. It's just that we're living in the wild west of, of drone days still. Yeah. And yeah. and, no and, and no in, innovation always outpaces uh, the tech you know, technology and or, or legislation, well, I meant to say, but you know, so it's going to be a while before the FAA catches up, and eventually, you know, even these drones will uh, be. Uh, I get it, but and this is why everybody. I don't. Again, Jeff, I'm stealing your news, and I apologize, but this is why everybody wants. Or not everybody. Gosh, not everybody wants the. The government is probably going to be coming out with a hobbyist test, like you're going to buy your drone from Best Buy. And it's not even going to fly at all till you log in and enter your hobbyist test or whatever. There'll be some way to confirm it. I don't know how they'll do that and the logistics on that, but there's probably going to be a test even for hobbyists soon. And just you, because of all the dummies screwing this up, you can't even put an age cap on it. You can't say right. You, you know, okay, yeah. 21 or or older. Whoa, because good point. You know, there's dumbasses of all ages. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, yeah, right. no doubt. Yeah, well, let's get let's get back to, to Jeff real quick. But before this gets away from me, uh, 400 AGL with a two dollar super chat. <laughs> v mix for the win, Ken. I'd help you. I appreciate that, Mel. Mel is very helpful. In fact, Mel, with his bad knee, carried a lot of this stuff, if not most of this stuff, up to the second floor mm. to make all of this <laughs> possible. I Thank met you. Mel at Spin Up two years ago. He's a good guy. Did yeah. he let you run uh, your fingers through his beard? Uh, no, no, he had a hat on 400. Yeah, no. Okay, no, he only no. lets certain people do that. that. I think we're close. Yeah, we weren't there. It. We weren't there yet. I, it was must have been my frosted tips that turned them off. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Rob, Rob Camarda. Hey, man. Seems like we get a super chat from Rob every single time. Thank you, Rob, very much. Super Newton's guy. third law of drones: for every drone action, there is an equal yet opposite overreaction in the media. Yeah, uh, and there's, I would say, as far as the drone community is concerned. Most of us want to follow the rules and drone responsibly. Yeah, it's not the people on this live stream we're worried about, Ken. It's the 16-year-old kid on Christmas that gets the new drone. That goes, how high can it go? How fast can it go? That that's true. That that's true. All of us are are pretty responsible. Raven one eight seven with another two dollars. Thank you. Australian donation wave. Let's get this train running. I agree. Thank you. And Metro Drones, man. Hey, $20 right. from Metro Drones. Happy TNL Droners. Ken, Jeff, Jason, you. Good guy. Thanks. All, All right. right. Yeah. So next to the news, the North Carolina Department of Transportation has received one of the rare beyond visual line of sight waivers from the FCC mm -hmm. or the FAA um, to be able to fly drones to inspect roadway bridges. Um and this is a pretty big deal because they have 13,500 bridges that have to mm. be uh, inspected on a regular basis. And now with getting this beyond visual line of sight waiver, they are able to go and send the drones below the bridges um, and instead of having to do dangerous repelling and expensive invasive uh, snooper trucks that would drive across the bridge and, and, and scan the bridges, et cetera. So, um, this is a big deal, and wow. for those of us that you know are pilots, it opens a, a doorway for the North Carolina Department of Transportation to start hiring drone pilots to be able to do this work. Drones are awesome; they really are awesome. What a great, uh, what great tools they are. We are living in yeah. the future, my friends. Some tight spaces too. That's cool. Yeah, really neat. <laughs> oh my gosh, the the super chats are pouring in. Is it okay if I interrupt the news again? Just for a minute, it's, it's Michelle that we have to think about. I've got to get through this news so she can get on. Oh, that's that's true. Um, Eric Swanson, ten dollars super chat, a long overdue super chat. Thank you, Eric. Eric, I'll just let you know in front of everybody. And a parent would never say this about their children, but you know they have a favorite in your mind. Okay. Wow. <laughs> and uh, H. Bird French, five hour super chat. Uh, here, Jeff, for waiting. I apologize to Eric. It's H. Bert French who's my favorite. 
<laughs> Nick Dystra. Wow. Nick Dystra with a five hour super chat. At Ken Heron. He's my how, favorite. He's he, my favorite. He's he's my new favorite. Uh, how do I access your Discord? Can't find a join link in the member perks. Yes. Um, I have not figured that out myself yet. I'll, <laughs> I'll be doing a Discord link. I, I, it's installed. So that's coming up. Uh, thank you yeah. very much. A and uh, Adam Blake is now my favorite with a $2 super chat. Passed my 107 recently. Thanks, Jason. Very good. Don't forget, remotepilot101.com. You can use Heron18, by the way, to get 30% off. And Jason loves it when you use that code. I do. It, you know that's my most used promo code, Ken? Seriously? Really? That's my most used. Yeah, that's my most. Used, all, we have a ton of promo codes. I mean, it. I don't know if it's your long, luscious gray hair, or I don't know if it's the uh, you know the the prison tats. I don't that's, know what did it. But that's something did it. The, they would be prison tats if they weren't full color. You know. Oh, yeah, you're right. In you're prison, right. Yeah, uh, yeah. you know, hey, give me the red marker and the green marker. <laughs> Grind it up. Uh, you got. You guys are going to have to gush each other out after the news. Okay, so. all right. Next, we yes. have drone footage capturing a terrifying moment in which a great white shark nearly brushed up against an Australian pro surfer, Matt Wilkinson. Oh, dear. <laughs> he was paddling off the coast of Ooh. Bolina, Australia, when the shark Ooh. swam up to him, and this drone actually caught the footage of this thing coming within... I, I, inches, I would assume, if not closer. Um, that didn't attack him, but uh, it came darn close. That is close. Wow. He just decided, well, not yeah. not today, I guess. Even probably wouldn't have not even known about it unless the he saw the footage afterwards. So. I just don't understand how anybody can get eaten by a shark when you know when they're n nearby. You're going to hear. You're going to hear that, and you're going to know yeah. that there's a shark nearby. Duh! Like, yeah. Totally get it. Better get out of the water. <laughs> 30 year old movie reference. You're welcome. All right. Next in the news, researchers at Skolvo Institute in the science and technology, or, or called Skoltech, in Moscow, Russia, have come up with a novel way to interface with a drone via hand movements and also make artwork in the air. Huh. Why does everybody want to be Iron Man? <laughs> right? Everybody, yeah. Everybody's new idea for something starts with, all right, I got a glove. And then I, I put some stuff on it. Right? Well, the idea uh, behind this is to be able to let people that aren't drone pilots, that don't have the acumen for the controls, to be able to use another way of controlling the drone and be artistic with it. And as you could see, they were doing that using long exposure light painting. So if you had an artist who is not a drone person, probably doesn't want to be a drone person, but does want to be creative, that would mm. be an excellent technology for it. Plus, yet again, it's a great way to get drones into the commonplace market. Right. And if you're going to uh, play with light, make sure that it's a loom cube light. <laughs> ah? Yes, there's a well link played. in the description. Well hey, you know, <laughs> that's what I'm here for. So, uh, Loom Cube, there is a, there's another code for you to save some money. Loom Cube, use TNL10 to get a, a big discount. Good and, people. And good those, people. they are good people. And they smell really good. Not as good as Jason, but they smell really, really good. All right. Thank so, you. since Jason <laughs> happens to really like Apple, and he's been kind enough to share with us how much he loves iOS. Apple recently uh, had their iPhone 12 uh, <laughs> release, and they've touted it as a cinematic drone cam. Okay. iPhone 12 Pro smashes the benchmark for highest quality oh, wow. video in a smartphone. And the movie industry can oh, now count yeah. it as an essential piece Ooh, of equipment. Cool. It is the world's first device able to capture, playback, and edit 10-bit HDR footage with Dolby Vision. iPhone 12 Pro comes in two sizes and in four finishes, including New Pacific Blue. So, uh, oh, do you do you have that? No, not yet. Oh, but okay. I will. <laughs> okay, it looked like in it. Blue. Could you believe that? Yeah, that's yeah, pretty cool. So with the with the advanced stabilization. 
and the fact that you know the 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 camera is still very very light with all of the the new technology in it um yeah throwing it on an fpv drone and going out and filming with it yeah but uh yeah. I mean, somebody it's else very aerodynamic somebody else no, did that cool. uh somebody else did that recently uh i believe uh, yeah ken did it i did yeah. do it in, in my last video but it's he used it's, a google phone yeah but you know what I thought I came up with that that idea, and then I come to find out Drew Camden from Rotor Riot did it <laughs> with another <laughs> phone. So way to go, Drew! <laughs> like that. All right. So yeah. next, Canada has a new Area XO. This is a complete drone and special five G van combination. It's kind of as cool. a global tech hub, we have the highest concentration of technology talent per capita in all of North America. Some of our internationally recognized strengths include cybersecurity and telecommunications. Ninety percent of the telecom industry-led R and D that takes place in all of Canada happens right here in Ottawa. We bring all of these capabilities to bear with our industry partners here at AreaX.O. That's pretty cool. Can you tell us more about it? <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was so good. So this is part of their autonomous vehicle uh, packages that they're working on, and they're using the 5G networks to enhance the extent of being able to fly beyond visual line of sight uh, using the wireless connection. Um, and so this this particular uh, Area XO package is this autonomous vehicle that works off of this van that uh, gives it extended range. So uh, it's new, interesting technology, and uh, I'm kind of interested to see all the different ways that they package it and apply it. So. Cool. And, and one day Canadians can uh, have one in their garage. Oh God! <laughs> love you, Canadians. I love you. Very quickly, wow. let's stop the show. All right, let's stop the show. Hold on, got to catch up with some of the super chats. Um, Kramac Productions with a with an Australian five dollars. Thank you so much. I think that's I think that's a super sticker. Stickers, I like stickers. Yes, I do. Oh yeah. Stickers, stickers, stickers. I like. Stickers. Yeah. Okay. And then Single Life Dad with a five-hour super chat. Thanks for the messages, Ken. Spray drones are coolest. Yes, uh, Single Life Dad, he is is doing some professional drone stuff, I believe, in Florida. And we've been chit-chatting back and forth. I love via, Florida. Via, it's a great place. I was born great there. Place. Yeah. I know. And uh, $25 super chat from Anubis Arts, TJ Grady, for making Jeff want to drink tonight. Jeff, tell, mm. tell the truth. Poor guy. Do you have any flammable liquids within your reach? The answer no, is yes. You, got, you guys, you guys have, have drained the pool, so to speak. So I've got to get more. All right. Now hold All on. Right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. And uh, WAB Mobile Entertainment with two dollars. I don't do my hobby for money. Excellent. You do it for the love of it, as as should mm. we all. And uh, JD, even though I just took your two dollars, which doesn't make any sense. So I guess I'm a hypocrite. <laughs> Thank for the you. love of Ken. There's the love, love of yeah. Ken. <laughs> okay. Anyway, uh, before I talk myself into a corner, JD above ground, five dollars super chat. <laughs> Saw him out at, uh, at Minefield. I think you Ooh. you met him. He was he he's got some alcohol for you, Jeff. If he still has that, <laughs> those bottles left. Uh, choo choo, yeah. love the show, guys. Watch it every Thursday after work. Damn DJI. Yes, they should have put out a Phantom Ooh. Five. And uh, H. Burt French, five hour super chat. You are so fickle, Ken. And you are so correct, H. Burt. And now back to the right. news. So, this one is one that I think will interest you, Jason, because uh, I found this one uh, sort of off the normal beaten path. Uh, David Martell and Brandy Reich are drone pilots who were called out to assist in multiple investigations to find debris scattered over a large area. Uh, after a Eurostar 350 helicopter may have experienced a cable wrap around the tail rotor and potentially pulled the tail boom off, causing the the, the high-speed rotation to separate and, and cause debris to fly all over the place. This was an interesting, uh, I guess, article and story about how they went out into an area that people couldn't traverse. The investigator, the FAA investigating team that came out there, they could not get to the location. They could not get into the areas where all this debris was. So they used drones to fly up and map the location and take photographs of all the debris that they were able to find to be mm. able to map out the crash site 
so that the FAA could then do a more thorough investigation, determine more information about how the how the uh, helicopter had had come down. And this, I think, is one of the purest forms for the FAA to be able to start implementing drones to to document these crashes, especially in areas where they they have difficulty getting to the lo- the location or the or the or the crash site itself. Um, but I, I thought this was very interesting, and I really look forward to seeing more uh, of FAA investigations that wow. document the use of this. Yeah, so. cool. Uh, we're already using it. I mean, the the police are using it for auto investigations. The yes. insurance companies come in after the fact too to see who's really at fault here and everything else. I mean, I, I was reading a stat. Uh, it used to take, on average, two and a half hours to clean up a interstate or highway car crash. Um, and then, I can't remember where the study was, whatever state did this, uh, cut it down about 30 minutes by using drones for accident reconstruction. Police love it. Insurance companies love it. It's only a matter of time till the NTSB gets a hold of it for aviation accidents like this as well. Yeah. And the, and the fire departments use it for post-fire analysis. There's yeah. there's so many different ways that, that drones can be uh, applied to to, to this type of work, even the forestry service we reported last week where they've mm. got a commission together where they're going to go out and use drones to do uh, surveys of the fire areas and look for areas that would be potential fire zones. Wow. <laughs> you know right. what? You know what? Uh, one day drones will be as innocuous as toasters. If they had social media back when toasters were invented, this could possibly Viral. be a, a, a toaster show. Welcome to the toaster show. What kind of bread do you use in your toaster? Do you have a four slot wow. or a two slot? I mean, it could be, right? You know, gluten-free, wheat, white. Yeah. There's so many options. Yeah. Wow. Four, slot, four slot toaster with a timer somewhere, and a digital clock on the front. Somewhere right now, there's a live stream talking about toasters. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Next in the news. Mm-hmm. Southwest China decided to put on a dazzling drone show where they went for a world record on the most drones flown in the air at the same time piloted. Okay, and now Whoa. let's all learn to count uh, down from 10 in Chinese. <laughs> oh, isn't that great? How many drones is that, Jeff? We have absolutely no idea. No I, way. I have, not found any, I have not found any documentation yet that tells me that the total number of drones that they flew. Just the simple fact that they took off in waves. And we're talking thousands. Holy. No way. Wow. What about like signal interference? I mean, if they're all, they're actually manned. It's not like this is a Disney show and they're using the Intel drones. They're just flying no, a I, predetermined I, pattern. No, they're, it, this is a cluster drone show that's computer driven for sure. For sure. It has to be. Yeah. yeah. Um, and each, you have to get a especially. separate. Yeah, each separate group of drones that took off is piloted by a separate group. In other words, ah, they're not they all the controlled. Yeah, the, okay. the systems that are controlling it our multiple systems to be able to do these high resolution three-dimensional imagery in the sky and i mean these things are huge i would love to see a cluster drone show i've never seen one and uh, there's it's it's a cleaner quieter option to fireworks shows but man they they really be quieter though like i mean that's gotta be sound like a swarm (laughs) Well, rather than a thud that uh, rattles your ribs, you're going to get a, a gentle <laughs> whir. And the added benefit, no mosquitoes in the air. They're all blown away. So that's nice. I think the smoke of fireworks does that too. Yeah, but right. Are you anti-fireworks? Is no, sir. About? No. In fact, um, America. Ta- America. Talking about, just very quick, let's derail the news one more time. I'll give you the ah! short version. Why not? No! On the morning show where Michelle and I worked, there was a guy, one of our clients sold fireworks and he loved the show so much. And we had him on one day and I said, um, Hey, can I come down and get some fireworks? He goes, Ken, you can come down and you can fill any vehicle you want with all the fireworks you want. And I said, well, what if I rent a U-Haul? And he's like, sure, I did it. And I had, I had like, a, I had too many fireworks. You think you think you never have enough, but I had too many. I was like, I had to move for the next few times with these fireworks. 
So dangerous. So dangerous. <laughs> yes. Sean Brady with a $5 super chat. Much appreciated. Hey, Ken and crew, love the show. Thanks for what you do. Remind me how I get drone eyes, please. I will. Uh, in fact, uh, you can get them from me. And I have uh, different sizes, different colors. These that will go on your drone. And then when your drone's up in the air and a bird sees it, the bird's like, oh, I don't want to mess with that other bird. You not mess with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So uh, get you no some eyes. strikes here. That's right. And you can you can send a $10 PayPal to KenHerronUpload at gmail.com. Make sure to include which sticker you want, which eyeballs, and uh, what size you want. And if, when you have these on your drone, a bird strikes your drone and crashes it, Jason Shepard will replace it free of charge. That guy, that guy right there. And, and, and I meant the decal, not the drone. Oh, yeah, and, and, and the eyes work. We even had a custom made set of large eyes created and put on our uh, on my GMC Envoy, right on the front windshield. Oh, that's right. And the so, birds won't even poop on it now. Birds, birds wow. completely avoid that truck altogether. Yep. It's great. Yep. All right. So uh, this technically Ken could be the bonehead of the week story if you wanted it to be. Oh yeah. Um, Hold on. Let me get the bonehead of the week. Bonehead of the week. Yeah. This yeah. is going to be a combination of Bonehead and, and Hillbilly. A Georgia man was arrested <laughs> recently for shooting Wait, down a utility company drone. Oh, my Georgia gosh. Man. Drone you gotta watch the Georgia man. being used to inspect these big electrical towers here in Coweta County. The company in charge, Georgia Transmission, says it's a safer way to do that job rather than sending a human up there in a harness. <laughs> Georgia Transmission Corporation shared this video with Fox 5 of its drone at work around tall electrical towers and high voltage transmission lines. Inspecting with the drone, the company says, is a much safer alternative. Our, um, that the use of drones uh, has been a great use of technology because it allows us to get very close to and inspect the, the equipment and not put humans at risk. While the drone was at work last week inspecting these recently painted towers, a drone crew reported to the Coweta County Sheriff's Office that someone had shot at the drone, forcing the pilot to make an emergency landing. The crew reported multiple shots, some of which damaged the drone, costing $15,000. Sheriff's deputies arrested a nearby resident, Edward Neal Pope. The company says it had alerted Pope beforehand <laughs> that the drone would be operating in the area. The company says the drone never strayed over Mr. Pope's property. At no point did the drone ever leave the right of way. It was just simply uh, there near the structure, and uh, that's when it was shot. The company has filed a report with the FAA, which licenses and regulates commercial drones in the U.S. Georgia Transmission Corporation says it operates throughout the state, working with 38 of Georgia's 41 EMCs. Georgia Transmission says it's been operating drones for years very safely. Never had a problem like this before. Mmm, okay. I, I, I have so many questions. Yes, and, I mean, and, 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 for, and one of them is probably, uh, is this guy from Louisiana? Come on now! <laughs> no, I, that's, that's Georgia man. No, okay. that, I, you know what, this is great because there's all those Florida man memes. I feel like there can finally be some Georgia man memes now. Uh, we, can, we can get out of the, out of the woodwork there. But yeah. my, my first question, they said it caused $15,000 in damage. It looked like an Inspire 1. It was an Inspire uh, 1, so yeah, they're... They made fifteen hundred in damage, maybe. They've no, inflated no. it. They've the, the company has inflated it for their insurance, no doubt. Um, oh yeah, no doubt. It, uh, Inspire yeah, One if, never cost that much. If Georgia if people they had, if they had the drone modified in a way, you know, where it was using you know thermal cameras, just cameras or anything like that, then or, you know, maybe. Or if it had these eyeballs on it. Now this will re increase yeah. the the value of your drone. And uh, yeah, and it'll dodge bullets. Not not. I feel like I need to expand on uh, on this gentleman because doesn't he just look like <laughs> the guy not to generalize and and I hope it, you know he's in a neighboring state and he can come visit me if he wants but doesn't he look like the kind of guy that would just go look get off my lawn I saw you looking at Emma Sue 
Emma Sue's out there sunbathing. Now, Emma Sue likes to wear a three-piece. Don't ask me how that happens. I didn't know there's such a thing as a three-piece bikini. When she's out there, I see your drone out there flying around with that zoom lens. I'm going to shoot that son bitch down. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to shoot it down. I'm it's sorry, but I'm going to have to take the umbrage <laughs> with this because <laughs> Edward Neil Pope is not going to talk like that if he's from Georgia. Georgia people don't talk like that. Georgia oh. people are much more prim and proper. Oh, and you, they're going to let you uh, know that they don't like that drone near their house. Yeah. And they're going to shoot that thing down, doggone it. Yeah. So, they're much more well, gentlemanly. Remember. I swear. Remember, I, he's more, much more foghorn leghorn. I say, I say, I'm going to shoot that drone down, I say. You there, flying that drone over my property. Those, my property. For those of us who have most of our family members from Georgia, yeah. <laughs> Why are you That's zooming in on him? Why? <laughs> I'm zooming in. That's creepy. I just... You look, you, you look up in the dictionary, drone shooter downer person, and his face is in there. It's that guy. Anyway. Uh, <laughs> he kind of looks like Jeff's brother. Now, bef hey. before we go, something amazing happened. There's a name yes. you need to remember. Her name is Dottie Frickin' Davis. I love weird girls. She's a weird girl. <laughs> and, well, by weird, I mean unique and creative. And she was nice oh. enough. Oh. Because, you know. I took it another way. No, 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 no. You know, whenever uh, there's a, a bird in the news. I, went, everybody. I can't play that anymore because... YouTube gets their panties in the wad. So wow. I found a replacement for whenever mm -hmm. Jeff mentions the word bird. And it's Dottie Davis. Jeff, you want to test wow. it out? Say, no! say the word. Say the word. What, Jeff, what flies in the sky and has wings and feathers? <laughs> That's a bird. Yes, it is. Oh, well, everybody's heard about the bird. Bird, 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 yeah. bird is a word. Well, a bird, 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 a well, well, a bird, 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 Second verse, same as the first. Everybody's heard about the bird. Yeah! Bird, bird, bird. Bird is the word. What a bird, bird, bird. But bird is the word. What a bird, bird, bird. Well, a bird is the word. Well, a bird. Bird. But bird is the word. Bird, bird, bird. Well, a bird is the word. Well, a bird. Bird. But bird is the word. Well, don't you know about the bird? Well, everybody's talking about the bird. Well, a bird. Bird. But bird is the word. Well, a bird. Wow. Yes. Wow. Jeff, your thoughts. <laughs> the news has been sponsored by Go Professional Faces. <laughs> GPC, designed for life. Be original, be blue. <laughs> Bleed blue. Yeah. Don't forget discount code TNL10 for a 10% discount on all online purchases at goprofessionalcases.com. You suck. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't, because now... Pick me, pick me, pick me! Ooh, I'm getting ready to write down names. All right, pick three names, Jason Shepard. Okay, I'm looking really closely at the chat. And Someone asked if that was my brother or my sister singing that song. Did, <laughs> did you see a resemblance? Is that what it was? No. Was it the yellow eyeshadow? Her name is Dottie Davis, and she has a YouTube channel with just a couple hundred subscribers. I think it'd be real nice if you guys would uh, click yeah. on the link in the description and, and subscribe. And tell her, tell her where you came from. Tell her Ken Heron sent you. All right, so we're giving away this. This is a GPC oh, SD awesome. card holder. I know. And uh, it holds S uh, SD cards. It's from GPC, and we're giving three of these away right now. Pick me, pick me! Do you have three people? So many. I got, I got two. I got two. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I, 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 I saw some cool ones, and one I know. All right, go ahead and stop saying pick me. You can stop it now. It's just moving so quickly. And I will, I will thank Sean Brady for the $5 Super Chat. Hey, Ken and crew, love the show. Thanks for what you do. Remind me how I get the drone eyes. I think I just read that one, but thanks again. Uh, and Kloss. Kloss with a 5 euro. So far, I know they used 3,058 drones for that Guinness World Record. And one software wow. program. All right. Thank you, Kloss. Do you have the winners? I've got the winner, sir. 
All right, who are the winners? Uh, I saw a username in there, Piper Cub. And that's that's aviation. There that's, you go. That's super cool. Piper Cub. So P- Piper Cub, congratulations. All right. Also in there, one of our phenomenal uh, manned pilots as well, who's a member of ours. We have, we have mutual customers with this, Ken. Oh, great. Kristen Burrell, she's a phenomenal member of ours. And then Matt with one T, Matt McKendry. I don't know Matt, but it went flying by. And Matt with one T just stood out to me. There you go. Congratulations, you guys. Make sure you email me to remind me that you've won because I'm old and I forget things. Ken Heron upload at gmail.com. Jeff, gray hair. thanks for letting us interrupt the hell out of the news today. We love you. We mean it. I know I speak for Jason when, when I say we yeah. love you. All right. See you, buddy. Now get out. By. Now get out. Oh, that Jeff. Gotta love that what a Jeff. Good guy. What Such a good, a good guy. guy. Uh, and now here is Jason with his first joke of the evening. Well, I've been really prepping for this, Ken. And I just uh, want you to know what does a. I wanted to go with a weather theme. All right. What does a cloud wear under its raincoat? What does a cloud wear under its raincoat? What? Thunderwear. What do you think? Alexa, tell me a yeah. joke. Why didn't the lawnmower win the election? Why? They were defeated by a grassroots campaign. Ah, who won that one in the <laughs> chat? Let me know who won that one. Uh, okay. And uh, S. Davis, 9538. Thank you very much for five hour Super Chat. And a new member, Metro Drones. Hey! hey. Just became a Razgateer. Thank you so wow. much. That is, I mean, you- that's... That's you high class. tell me about the different levels, Ken. I, you got like, all these different le- rasketeers and heron birds and everything else. That's pretty cool. Oh yeah. Uh, well, you can just click on the join thing, in the in the thing, and then click on the thing, and then I'll tell you, in the thing. Yeah, I love. I I, I can't. So, so much thing clicking. <laughs> yeah, well, I know. Um, and I I think we're like one maybe away from the goal of ten tonight. And uh, David Cassidy's back with another five dollars. <laughs> Thank you. Please. Hey, did you do you see the chat? All the Jason's winning. By the way, I don't know. You you just like kind of brushed past that. You know, did, well, you know affirmations are my love language, Ken. Yes. And I, I could just. I mean, I know you know that we talk about our love languages a lot together. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I just want to make sure you understand that there's a lot of. You could have given me an affirmation there. Oh. And, and you missed it. Oh, I'm sorry. So. I'm I'm yeah. terribly sorry about that. Uh, I was going to make sure we're not in a fight or anything. Like, no. If there's tension between us, you would just tell no, me. No, no, no. We have to stay together for the kids anyway. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so please go back to your affirmations. Are people talking about you? Yeah. yeah well, I, I beat I beat Alexa in the joke is what everyone was talking. Well, except Jay Fever said Alexa. Oh. Jay Fever. You know, I, yeah. probably I, used a competitor too. Probably used Remote Pilot One Hundred One. Oh yeah, that. they're probably using Remote Pilot yeah. One Hundred Two. Oh, those guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And, uh, and, uh, and uh, before we bring Michelle, in, those jerks at the One Hundred Two. They're just they're one better. Damn it. Uh, okay, and uh, Jimmy J is in the house. Thank you, Jimmy J. Ken, if she haunts my dreams tonight, oh boy. And I didn't want to miss David Cassidy. He says, please tell us she made that for you, Ken. Uh, talking about Dottie and the bird song. She did not. I would like to think that she did. She might make a custom version if she sees this, maybe. And uh, D&D Aerial Views just became a member. My goodness. Welcome to the Heronbirds. Thank you so much. All right. Um... Michelle, I, I apologize for being so... I did tell her a half hour ago, but I've got a lot of viewer videos. Oh, and by the way, I'm giving Ooh. away this little drone tonight. This is Ooh. the best drone ever on this table at this current moment. <laughs> <laughs> it's the only drone on there. I believe you. No, no, I it believe is. You. It's the best drone on this table. It's a toy. Like you mean it's, it. It's fun. It's a brushed motor drone. It's kind of garbage but uh you could win it and that doesn't <laughs> that doesn't make people want to win it does it because first they yeah, were like wow that's, that's a cool drone but no it's it's kind of poopy but it's still fun anyway I, well, i'll give you a different prize if you want it uh let's play one video please and i'll let you decide jason do you want Ooh. to go to puerto rico oh or do you want to see an fpv fail Wow, both both are great. Uh, let's work on our Espanol in All right. Puerto Rico. All right, we're heading to Puerto Rico, and this is from Mr. Colorado. I don't know if that's... Mr. Colorado uh, in Puerto Rico? Yeah. yeah. They're kind of far. Doesn't that, name, last doesn't, that, doesn't that name seem like it would appear on a sash over a well-oiled 
uh, body, right? It's yes. Mr. Colorado. Yeah. Hey, here's my pecs. All right. Uh, <laughs> says, hey, Ken, here's a video for Puerto Rico. Uh, by the way, I'm a broadcast radio engineer. Love your channel, Mr. Colorado. Enjoy, everyone. Have you been to Puerto Rico? Uh, I have been to Puerto Rico. Man, you've yep. been everywhere. Yeah, I've been everywhere, man. I think Puerto Rico should be our 51st state. What do you think? Yeah, I'm with you, man. They have good coffee. Beautiful place. Did you go swimming in the crystal blue water? <laughs> That's not Puerto Rican accent. No, that was not. Very, That's my, that was uh, not a good Puerto Rican accent. That no, that was close. my German. I'm pretty sure. We have ways of making you go to Puerto Rico accent. Very nice. No mention of what drone he's using for this. It's the one you're giving away. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. With, with an iPhone 12 strapped to it, though. Oh my goodness. That could never happen. Man, we could do, like, some, you know, some boleros. What is it? Boleros. It's like dancing, right? It's oh, like, okay. Um, yeah. That is beautiful. Thank you, sir. Thanks for sending that in. Mr. Colorado. All right. Uh, and, and I've got other prizes and, and stuff. I uh, want to mention uh, that we're going to bring Michelle Miller from Birmingham for my okay. old stomping grounds in here in just a minute. But uh, did, 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 did I mention D&D &D Aerial Views? Welcome to the Heronbirds and SSH Drones. Hey, Jeff. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> Jeff from Atlanta just became a member. He's uh, in the Pigeon Jerky Gang. Ooh. Thank you. All right. Thank you. And uh, Ben Thornton with a $10 Super Chat. <laughs> I think most schools would say the next level is Remote Pilot 201. Oh, yes, of course. That's how the curriculum works, doesn't it? I get it. Yeah, yeah I get okay. It. You thank, should get royalty thank, on that one. Yeah, thanks nice for that. the correction, Ben. <laughs> and Nick Dystra. Anytime you want to correct me with a super chat, bring it on. I'm fine with <laughs> it's it. It's okay. Yeah. Uh, Nick Dystra, tell Jason that his lighting is great tonight and should use wow. this color grade and lighting for all of his future videos. Oh, Thank okay. You, Nick. That's very nice. Yeah, man. You're, yeah. I mean, this is, aren't you in your kitchen? Yeah, basically. No, I'm in you know, my spare bedroom, but yeah. He, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's not lighting. It's youth. Mm. I have better lighting, but I'm older. There's not enough lighting to make me look as good as Jason. Wow. So, so it's not the lighting. Thank unless, you. unless, unless it's mm. LoomCube, because, you know, LoomCube will make you look 10 years younger. And they smell good. And they smell good. And here's the discount code. Buy your Make Me Look Younger light at loomcube.com, TNL10 for a discount. All right. Fountain of youth light. Yeah. And don't be jealous because you know I've got a sign for you too, buddy. Oh, I know. It's great. Okay, good. It's uh, really uh, good. All right. Wonderful. <laughs> I'm all about this signage. Uh, Chris, Seabees? I hope I'm Sebes? Sebes? Oh, God. I said his name wrong. Her name. It could be a her, too. Ah, oh, hell. Ooh, facts. Thank you, facts. Chris, for, for the $5. While flying last week, I had the cops call on me during a real estate mm. photo shoot. Yay. Eh, there's a lot of that happening. Boy, that, uh, Jason, it's you know happen. that makes me upset when local authorities try what? to usurp the federal regulations. You never told me that. That is so surprised. I'm, I'm so surprised you've never told me that before. <laughs> yeah. I talk about it you all the time. You never expressed your opinion to me. Yeah. Was, sometimes when I just call them up on the weekend. I don't say, hey, Jason, how are you? I'm like, that damn cop with the FAA. That's what I do. Anyway, all right. The cop with the FAA? I don't know what I'm talking about. Got to bring this Michelle in. Let's bring Michelle in while Jason Please. tells us another wonderful joke. Well, I want to stick with the weather theme here, Ken. So yeah. uh, I have a question for you. What happens when the fog lifts in California? What? U-C-L-A. That's that's pretty good. I'll give you that one. That's pretty good. All oh, right. Thank you. That's thank good. You. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Do what I can. Yeah. Do what I can. You, how many more of those you got? I got a whole list over. Here. Excellent. So, All right. So we're waiting on the... Michelle has joined us. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Michelle Miller! 
Hi guys. Hey Michelle. Hi. Can you hear me? Yeah, we can we Gosh, can hear you. Oh, the Wirecast is doing that thing. Good. Michelle, uh you and I worked together on the radio years and years ago on a show called the Beaner and Ken Show. And uh initially you were you were just our uh our news person, right? Yes, it started out that way. I was just doing news and then one day you guys asked me a question and I answered it and I never left. <laughs> yeah, you were just part of the show from from, from then on. And uh you you live in Birmingham, Alabama right now. Actually, it's Tuscaloosa. I Tus live in Tuscaloosa. Oh, you are in Tuscaloosa. Were you there? Right. Were you there in what was it 14 when when that big tornado went through? Yes, absolutely. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. I, w I was living in Huntsville, Alabama at the mm. time. But uh, anyway, let, it, let me tell you, you guys have been so hilarious. Have you I been watching? Been laughing. Yes, I wanted to comment <laughs> on so many different things. I was just like, oh my goodness, I wish I was on for that. I wish I was on for that. <laughs> <laughs> um, you, w you and I, we've kept in touch over the years. It, we've known each other for uh, a good long time, and uh, we should have kept in touch more um so i would say that you remember Gosh, let me just clarify keeping in touch i get these calls from ken out of the blue they're like hey michelle what's going on can you do a bit for me hey michelle guess what i need a voice hey michelle that's that's, <laughs> that's true it's only when he needs something it's only when he needs something huh? exactly when he needs something i get a call hey michelle Guess what? I'm in Tennessee. Guess what? I'm in California. Guess what? I'm here. <laughs> I'm I'm very transparent in that regard. <laughs> wow. I appreciate that. But you remember you remember a younger, more uh, dapper, uh, less gray me. Wow. Don't you? Um, I would say a more salt and pepper Ken. Salt and pepper. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I, a little more. Yeah. I actually yeah. have some video that I want to share from when you and I worked at. <laughs> Wait a minute, what kind of video is this? Wait. No, 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 no. This is, when when we worked together, the name of the company uh, was the name of the guy. The name of the guy was uh, Alan Dick. And the name of the company was Dick Broadcasting. And so we had promos on the air. It was a rock station. It was 1077 The X. So it, our audience was like alternative people. So we'd have like, we work for dicks. You know? <laughs> and stuff, it would be like, choo 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 choo, our boss is a dick. And, and he loved it. He loved it. Wow. He loved it. He was like, yeah, man. But then, uh, what was the name of that company that bought us out and then ruined radio? Citadel. <laughs> Citadel. That's wow. right. Okay. You and don't harbor any hate. Oh, I do. I anything. harbor so much hate. I get so many radio stories. Yes, yeah, Citadel. I remember the day, clearly. I would, you know, our contract was renewed. We were like doing well in the ratings, and then this dipty doo comes in. Is like, hey, we're from Citadel. We're gonna change everything. We just bought the company. It's gonna be better and blah blah. blah. And I was like, give me that Kool Aid. I'm like, yeah, it's gonna be better, more money. All right. But it turns out they weren't Citadel. They were Adele. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I feel like you forced that. I feel like you forced that joke. I did, I did, but that's what too I called them. A little too hard. So yeah. um, let me tell you what's really weird. You favor Beaner so much, and I'm just thinking like Ken has a type of a co-host. So. <laughs> oh, he does. He looks like Beaner. Like yeah, he looks like Beaner. Mm -hmm. He kind of does. He kinda yeah, does. I think you have a type. <laughs> wow, Ken, Ken, am I your type? <laughs> just put it out there, Ken. Yeah. Um, I'm your type, just tell me. <laughs> I I usually like to have um, male mannequin looking uh, co-hosts, you know, with the perfect features you, and the and the shiny teeth. <laughs> you did have a cardboard cutout made of me, though. I did. So I, I did. Now I have it now. He has it now, and yeah, uh, it's more I no longer get paper cuts in the middle of the night. Anyway, moving on. <laughs> <laughs> I kid. I kid. Come on. All right. So do you. Jason, Jason, I want you to tell me what kind of plane I'm riding in. This is from 1998. This is a much younger Ken. Uh, Michelle, I don't know if you were there at, at that time, but check this out. Whoop. The audio is... Yeah, that's me. That's, that is not Ken Heron. I look exactly the same. 
<laughs> That's his little brother, okay? <laughs> I don't look the- such a dork. Yeah, you're right. All right, I'm gonna pl- I'm gonna play it again. Listen, this is uh, it's, it's a one, it's 172. Is it 172? Okay, I'm uh, I'm. Listen, it's a Cessna 172. I was flying with the traffic guys over the radio station, and uh, it was really fun. <laughs> so I was a little concerned. That was so good. Because he, he, was, he was like, yeah, we're going 100 miles an hour this way. He's like, oh, yeah, really? Oh, the, the, the box are playing again. I'm like, dude. <laughs> so is that is yeah, that, that normal that, for pilots to do that? Just kind of zone out? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> okay, that's good. 172, by the way, 100%. It's a Cessna 172. Okay, okay. So. Oh, good, good, good. And, yeah. and so you don't uh, have to keep your eyes on the air, you know, like. <laughs> no, I mean, there could be birds and another air traffic, but no, you can look around a little bit. It's not, it's not, I mean, helicopter, you cannot helicopter. You better stay focused. But an airplane, it's just kind of hurtling to the sky at 100 knots. Okay. Even yeah, if, right. even if you're, I mean, at night you want to watch, right? Unless you're just, cause if you're, what is no, it? You VFR? Close your eyes. You close your eyes at night. Everything's black anyways. What is it? You're VFR? <laughs> visual flight rule? <laughs> VFR to fly in the daytime without instruments? Yeah. No, you could have VFR at night. Okay. <laughs> Ken, when are you coming here to fly? I, that we need to we need to do a remake of this. Yes, as I'll long as you do you the flying. the floaty thing, the anti where you dives and we get weightless for a, a second. A uh, parabolic arc. Yes, love those. I don't like the pulling the G's thing before. You like the so negative. Much. I like, like the negative. I like the float. yeah. I like that. And I had a big, huge, clunky camera. In fact, believe it or I not, I did not plan this. I was actually pulling video last week i have the very camera that i shot that with with me can we see it can we yeah, see it yeah he doesn't throw anything away <laughs> he's trying to throw that drone behind him away he's giving it away to somebody <laughs> look at this <laughs> i was oh, wow i was trying to float this in the plane i said all right do it again i'll let go of the camera i wanted it to f- float you know but yeah it, this is this is not a floating camera it still works yeah. though it's like 480 by 640 resolution. It's a piece of poo. Awesome. Yeah. But uh, anyway, all right. So one more clip from the plane. I can't believe you used to be young, by the way. I just can't believe you were young ever. <laughs> yeah, I was, he, I was he born with Griffin. young. He's been the same person, though. He, and he I'm, was so eccentric. I mean, he ate like the weirdest things and only a little bit of this and a little bit of that. And it was just really weird. And it's just like, but it was Ken. And we had to do it a certain way and act a certain way around him because he didn't like certain noises. And it was just- What? <laughs> certain noises? <laughs> wow. He was very eccentric. And so, but he was Ken. <laughs> I, I, was, I was a little demanding. A little more than I am now. I have, yes, I have. What did you used to eat? It was like you only ate like jerky and some Coke or something. It was just like. I, I've, eat, I've eaten like a 12 year old my whole life. And I don't know how I'm still alive. Probably <laughs> vitamins, but uh, anyway. Stuff had to be separated, like green M and M's and blue M and M's. No, you're thinking of someone else. You're, th- <laughs> you're thinking of someone else, Michelle. All right, so uh, let me let me play this second clip from the plane. Okay. This is the floaty That's thing. Awesome. Ha, 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 ha.
That, that sounds like the same old Ken. <laughs> That was awesome. That was a great day. Hey, a bunch of people in the chat said you look like a, a copy of John Lennon. I, I can see that. I, not anymore, though, right? The glasses. The glasses. Yeah, I used yeah. to get John Lennon a lot. Yeah. Now yeah, I, I get that. John Lennon's granddad. Oh, well. <laughs> oh, well. So, um, hmm. Michelle, um, you... I'm, I'm not going to mention the, the, the business because there's probably some wackadoodles out there that would find you. But uh, you are a very prominent business person in Birmingham, and I was very surprised to hear that you are pretty much a CEO of a whole network of companies. You're a, a big wig. You're important. Uh, I have a couple of insurance agencies, and I own a um, another business. So yeah, I have a few business, and um, you know, I took all my radio money and I invested it really well. Well, you made you got you got money for that what we did they gave you money so now your your uh your husband has the drone or who or your company has you have a drone in you your know, life my husband has the drone and i know by you guys standards it's probably not a very expensive drone but by my standards it was a very expensive drone, and um, but everywhere we go, he can't fly it. We went down to the beach. There was like, we can't fly it there. We were on certain property. But he has some property in Mississippi, and he goes and he surveys and surveys the land and everything, and he does all these videos and stuff. Um, I actually ju uh, judged a couple of contests where people had drones. Uh, they were doing where they can um, deliver timber to, you know, in timberland, and you drop uh, the pods to grow the the trees. Mm, so I judged that, that kind of contest. And then I judged one where they were trying to do farmland. They were helping farmers by using drones and they had this really industrial big, it looked like a little mini plane, but it was a drone. So I said, that's, that's interesting. I'm on a drone show. So I've actually had some experience with drones. Okay. <laughs> cool. Do, do you ever use drones for your uh, insurance stuff? I don't personally, but they do do it for claims, like looking for mm -hmm. rooftops after a storm. They do have mm -hmm. claims, uh, the drones that go out now. And it's really fascinating. I was watching what you guys were showing and talking about, and I was like, I didn't realize the impact. Like, I've never seen a drone show like you showed over in China where they had all the, the, mm -hmm. the like, replacing fireworks kind of thing. I was like, that's impressive. I, I, I thought, like, that blew my mind right there. Yeah. Oh, it's a, it's a whole world. I mean, a, a, a big part of the community is watching us right now. Um, are you uh, – here goes the train. I, right before oh. I started the show, I live near train tracks. That's why the rent's low. Oh, I hear it. Yeah. Do you hear it? Yeah. yeah uh, anyway, bit. so Michelle, do you uh, do you know about a thing called uh, 14 CFR Part 107 that requires you to, to be certified in order to use your drone to make money? Not to put you on the spot. No, but I bet I could probably get some training. <laughs> <laughs> you know, yeah. But I shouldn't go to 102. I should go to 101, right? Ooh, right. <laughs> now we're talking. Shelly's smart. Shelly's smart. Yeah. Oh, can can he call you Shelly? Yeah, can I call you, you Shelly? Call me Shell. You could call me Shell. Shell. Yeah, Shell. That's oh, okay. even better. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Shell. And That's what my husband Shell. calls me. And my his family, they call me Shell. <laughs> that means you really know me when you call me Shell. Listen to that train. <laughs> we really know you. There's certain. You can hear that train. Man, it's so annoying. Hey, Shell, do you have any embarrassing Ken stories you can tell us? Uh -huh. uh, you, <laughs> I don't PG know what. 13. PG 13. I, I, I don't know what I can say on the show or not, but Ken sent me some tape the other day, an uh, email that had a. Uh, uh, a phone conversation that we all were having off the record. And I was thinking to myself, Ken, like if I ever ran for political office, that's like, <laughs> I, we were saying some things that really were off color. Oh, and I was just oh, like, <laughs> now I don't have that, but, but, um, so Michelle, we were sort of syndicated within the company. Beaner and I were in Syracuse at one point and Shelly was in <laughs> Birmingham and we would use a thing called ISDN, which is, uh, an old-fashioned uh, high-speed internet line to get audio to each other. And uh, being an audio hoarder, I record and save everything. And I, I don't think I'll embarrass you if I play this little bit. Uh-oh. Do you mind? Uh, we aired it on the radio. That doesn't mean anything back then. We you, okay. a lot of stuff on the right, Let me give you some context. Let me give you some context. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
<laughs> uh, this audience is very similar in that they know me uh, like like our audience knew us at Beaner. Uh, so this is this is you. We're listening in Syracuse to you talking to someone in Birmingham. But you didn't talk to this person like you talked to us. <laughs> is that okay? Can I play it? There, I, there, I, there's nothing. There's a little bleep in it. Let's just say that yeah. the way I talk to you guys is a little bit different than the way I may talk to a girlfriend. You know, there may be a sister that I might speak a little different to than a sister. <laughs> yeah. So there was... There was someone in the room that you were talking to that, uh, I'll just play it. Okay. You ready? Oh, oh my goodness. It's not terrible. It, it, what do you guys in the chat think? Do you want to hear this? Jeez, I, we want to hear it. Mothman 46 says, I'm dying here. All right. Here we go. This, this is, uh, here we go. Listen. Look, I'm going to tell you right now, I'll make an event live as hell. I'll pump it up on the air. Don't expect me to do no real work. No, I think I just want to get She out pulled an Oprah there. Press the flesh. I know that's real. I Oh, they would talk about me. Oh, they would talk about me so bad because I was pissed off. I had to put gas in the van. I would dry that mug on fumes. They could always tell me the last person because it'll help. I would dry that mug. It'll make to the station like this. That's you that does that, huh? Honey, I'm... <laughs> Where y'all going to eat at? That's my middle name. <laughs> Invite myself, honey. <laughs> anyway, so we get little nuggets See, like that. <laughs> See, that's what I hate about Ken. Ken records every freaking thing. How and do you, you don't still know that you're that? being recorded. And so... <laughs> and I'm a... I'm a cusser. Like you were talking about earlier, I was like, e okay, that lets me know we can't say anything. Because we were talking about Georgia man. I had a whole bit about what he said. <laughs> yeah, I, 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 I tend to use broadcast rules on here just because, you know, I have 36 years of that. But, um, yeah, Jason, to answer your question, how do I still have that? I have yeah. terabytes saved. I have every radio show I've ever done. Not just Beaner and Ken. Every commercial, every promo, every live wow. thing, everything. Uh, He's a radio hoarder. I, I am. I am. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to play something else. No. <laughs> no. no. This, this is, play some of your stuff. No, 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 no. <laughs> I will. I will. I will. But this is. Oh, it's going to be all slick and professional what he plays with his self. It's no, gonna no. Be uh -huh. no. Uh -huh. we, slick. We would do prank calls. <laughs> Back before people were so litigious. <laughs> uh, th this is real. Like, we would not fake them. A lot of radio stations will fake calls and have canned bits, but th we actually called people. So <clears throat> I think Michelle got the idea that she wanted to call AmSouth Bank because they were the relationship people. <laughs> now, I've edited this for time, but... <laughs> And there's nothing. This is brilliant. Uh, so listen to this is this is the caliber of talent that we had with Michelle. Listen to this. We had nothing else to do. <laughs> Good morning. This is Sabrina. How can I help you? Is this AmSelf? Yes, ma'am. Are you guys the relationship people? Okay. And how can I help you, ma'am? I just had a really bad morning, and I needed someone to talk to. <laughs> Okay, can I get your name, ma'am? Angel Reynolds. Okay, and how can I help you, Ms. Reynolds? Uh, just, I had a really bad argument this morning with my boyfriend. <laughs> okay, now is it something that I can help you with on your account, Ms. Reynolds? We just were arguing, and, you know, I just needed someone to talk to. Okay. <laughs> and you guys are the relationship people, right? The relationship people dealing with your bank account, ma'am. I mean, as far as personal issues, I mean, it's nothing, something that I could assist you with. Uh, Sabrina, are you married? Yes, I am, ma'am. Well, I'm sure you can understand. It's just, you know, I'm just really bummed out. I can't even go to work today. Yeah, I... I mean, I, I, you know, could possibly connect you with someone. I mean, I don't know what your issue is, ma'am, or what problems you're having. 
<laughs> well, he just says I dress too provocatively. Okay. I mean, but how is it that I can help you, ma'am? I have a belly ring, and I think I should be allowed to show it, you know? I don't, I don't see the problem. I mean, you know? Um, but, I, I mean, the only thing I can help you with, ma'am, is going to be something if you have an, an account with AmSouth that I can help you with. I just figured, you know, since you guys were the relationship people, I could call you and maybe we could just, you know, figure out something. I mean, you know, I'm willing to work with them, but, you know. We're not relationship counselors, ma'am. We are here to assist you with your bank account. But we're not relationship counselors, (laughs) ma'am. Oh, okay. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for calling him, so. That was their slogan back then, the relationship people. But she stayed on the phone. Oh, yeah. She stayed on the phone, like... Oh yeah, and yeah. Where did I get belly ring? I don't know. You were you were making stuff up. You were riffing. We had such a great show. There's audio available online. Uh, I need to make what I have available. It was such a good show. I'm very proud of that show. Very proud of it. And what we did. We would come up with so much stuff, and you guys, we would just start going off of each other. And any issue, we can't discuss those issues now. We would be off the radio now. It would be, we would be fine. So many things. I just. I oh. can't believe the stuff we said back then. Yeah, it was, eh. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we, it was always a male audience, to be sure. But we would, if I played some of the stuff, uh, I would, I would me too myself into the next. I would say we pushed the line. We pushed the line a, a lot. Oh, a lot. yes, yes, yes. I took liberties with being African American that I'd probably get in trouble with now. I probably would. <laughs> yes, yes. The stuff, the Michelle like, stuff that fun. I was. The Michelle stuff that I was flipping through, I was like, mm, nah, mm. Yeah, it's funny, but nah, you know. <laughs> anyway, all right. Now, um, you have time to, to hang around there, Michelle? Want to play some of these uh, cool videos? Sure. Okay. I want to see them. All right, good. Um, do you know that? Do you know what FPV is, Michelle? Is there a cream for it or? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. It's a pear-shaped that rash good. that that. That, yeah. that was so good. If, if you FPV, you know, sometimes it burns when I FPV. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, what is it? No, for? what is that? Uh, FP, FPV is first-person view, but it's kind of uh, what people call the uh, race quads, the fast, the fast quads. So you know, there's okay. there's a difference between the. The nice, gentle, cinematic GPS drones, that, the one that you use, and then these other ones you've seen, like, just zip, 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 just crazy, right? Okay. So that's one of these. That's FPV. Uh, and this is from William Flagg. Hey, Ken, not long enough to even have music, but maybe this will make you feel a little bit better about some of your own short FPV flights. And we do not like short FPV flights because that means something went wrong. So enjoy this short FPV flight. Starting off from less high than the parking stones were. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Whoopsie. Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for sending that in, uh, William Flag. Poor guy. Appreciate it. Poor guy. Let me tell you guys one thing about my husband's drone. So he got it at Best Buy, and I don't know if this is an expensive drone, but to me it was. He paid $2,000. So he took it out like the first or second day, and he has it out. He has it up in the air, and he comes in, and he looks like a kid, like he started crying. The drone just dropped out of the air. It just dropped. And I was like, what do you mean it just dropped? I said, you paid $2,000 for it. You better figure (laughs) something out. And he was, he so was, I didn't ups- know, is that, does that happen often or something or what? Uh, no, not really. What, what was the brand? Was it, it was it DJI? I don't know the brand, but he took it back and then they got him another one. Cause he always buys the, um, extended warranty kind of thing. Oh, wait so- a minute. What <laughs> was it? A wow. GoPro karma? <laughs> See that's that, two that, grand. yeah that's a that's a joke. I mean, it, it dropped out of the air. I thought to myself, what the heck kind of crap is this? You know. Yeah. So I mean, you know, there's a lot going on with drones, and it's very tricky technology. You never know. Could be user error as well. But it's not. I a, just didn't know they would do that, and I just thought, <clears throat> you know, that's a lot to spend on a drone, and then it drops. I mean, what do they normally cost? I mean, I'm sure you guys have some really like that fifteen thousand dollar power line drone. 
Mm, yeah, that was a <laughs> that little was exaggerated. That was an insurance fraud. Yeah, yeah. Somebody as an insurance as, a, as an insurance broker, you get it. Right. Somebody inflated that for tax reasons, for sure. But yeah. um, no, I mean, you can get a decent drone for what, Jason? Twelve hundred something. Man, yeah, if you're going the cinematic route, if you want to get into the FPV stuff, some of these cine whoops and stuff, you can get some. Not maybe not ready to fly, but pretty darn close for five, six hundred bucks. Yeah. Throw a GoPro on it. And like this, like this little guy here is is just fun. This is Ooh. a just a oh, little. That's cute. Yeah, it's cute, but I I cracked it. I totally wrecked it. But that's you know that's mm. part of the fun. But uh, it'll be fine. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> speaking of FPV. This is great. Uh, Casey FPV has sent stuff in before, and I wanted to share this with you. And I'll start this. You can see his his son in here as he starts up. Hey Ken, I've been working on my freestyle skills more of these last few weeks, and I put this little edit together from a rail yard that wasn't active. That's by my house. As always, great job with the show. I watch every week. Keep it up. And he says the music is epidemic sound. And they are a sponsor oh, of the good. show tonight. And remember, if it's not epidemic, it's crap. <laughs> what do you think of this, Michelle? Do you like this kind of video? That's cool. Oh, it's making me sick. It's like it's moving like real time. Is it? Is it making you ill? You know, like loop de loop kind of stuff. Yeah, you don't like that. No, it's pretty neat, and it's moving so fast. Yeah, mm. the, this is FPV. This is if. I, I can't fly this well. I, I aspire to fly this well. Yeah, J really? Jason is a, a instructor pilot, a fic, you know, a man pilot, and he he also has a drone instructing uh, school, Remote Pilot One Hundred One. And you know uh, what they say, Jason? If you can't, you know, do it. You can teach. Ah! <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm living proof of that. You know, <laughs> yeah, I, right. I thought that's what they said about consultants. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you remember? We would have a lot of morning show consultants, and they would say stuff yeah. like, uh, failing to prepare is preparing to fail. <laughs> no, this is amazing. The, guy, the fact that you guys can do this, I think this is so amazing, because I can't even make it go forward, you know? Ken, do you know what he's flying? What drone he's flying? Uh, I, it's a DJI uh, air unit, the digital the goggles, but yeah. I don't, I believe it's a five inch something or other. I don't know okay. what the brand is, yeah. but. Um, so this is not the camera on the drone. It's his actual flying that's making the the what, video. It's not the. Yeah, he, he's doing the rolls. Yeah, the drone is. Yeah, and he's doing that. What, and the video we're seeing is is a GoPro. I can tell by yeah, the GoPro by, to it, the by the distortion. Eye, yeah. But if it's a digital goggles, Michelle, you have to try uh, goggles, uh, either FPV goggles or just goggles on a drone, because that is really. A whole other So does it level. put, like you're driving, it makes you feel like you're actually flying the drone, like on the drone flying or something? Is that what it makes you feel like? Yeah. When you wear the goggles, mm -hmm. you're seeing out of the camera in the front of the drone. Oh. So he's yeah, seeing I got this. nauseous my first few times doing it. I the, bet I would get you. nauseous. I get motion yeah. sickness, so I bet it would trigger that. The thing about mm -hmm. watching this as compared to doing it is when you're watching it, you cannot predict the next move. If you're right. if you're doing it, you predict the next move, and therefore yeah. your inner ear can accommodate it. Oh. But mm -hmm. the same is true in airplanes. Yeah, right, right, right. That's pretty good. Yeah, thank you, Casey uh, FPV, for sending that in. Appreciate it. That was really cool. Yeah, you know, I, uh, Michelle does look a, a, a little ill. Do you do you need a, a paper bag to breathe in? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to tell you the truth, Ken. Yeah. About this time, I'm normally asleep. So oh, oh, okay. Well, we'll let you go. But before no. we let you go, let's hop in. I know you. this is going to seem wacky to you, but let's bring Michelle into the Raz chamber. This is just a little seventh inning stretch that we do where we all are just inside, and my accent changes into sort of a stewy kind of thing, and we're all in here in the goo. This is a recentering. We we recenter our chi here in the Raz. And Michelle, I'm I'm glad you wore that special one piece for us as we're all dipping our toes and letting the blue and purple goo envelop our entire being. How do you feel, Michelle? It's actually a three piece, but um yes. <laughs> <laughs> You're way ahead of the curve. Jason is in a mere two piece. We're all a large pectorals. 
But there is one rule. One rule and one rule only in the Raz. And that would be no farting in the Raz, please. <laughs> Too late. <laughs> oh dear! It would appear that the scattered thought and Michelle have both pooted in the Rav. <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> Michelle, thank you so much for stopping by. I'm going to let you go back to sleep because you have important things to do. Tomorrow's Friday. You got fourth quarter business to do, take care of, get out there and do your CEO stuff. Get the corner office, all that. <laughs> Next time I'm on, I'm going to have a great background. I didn't know that we had to have the nice backgrounds. I'll be more prepared next time you invite me on, okay? Well, you want to come back? Did, what do you think in the chat? I, I'd like to invite Michelle back. Maybe you Absolutely. can... Absolutely. Uh, Please, guys, be nice. I want to come back. I'm going to have drone stories, and I'm going to bring some drone video that we produce, okay? Ooh, oh, we very good. Okay. We're good. And I'm going to tell my husband about you, Jason, because I want him to get some training and stuff. So what's the code covered, we're supposed Michelle. to use for Ken? Thanks for asking. Heron 18. I got mm -hmm. you. Heron 18. Thank you. There you go. And maybe yes. we can have you a co-host one day. That'd be fun. I think so. I love it. Wonderful. Thank you, Michelle. Love you. Bye -bye. Mean it. Okay. Okay. Bye, bye, bye. everyone. Bye. bye. She's awesome. Is She is awesome, Ken. You surround yourself around great people. Yeah, she she's great. She, um... She surprised us a lot of the times. Like she, she looks like the type of person that that wouldn't be have as sharp a wit as she does. Mm -hmm. uh, she would always surprise. Like, hey, what if we do this? Okay, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> we'll do that. Love yeah. it. Yeah, love it. All right, so we're gonna play a game tonight. Yeah, I'm ready. Four. Are you doing okay? By the way, man, I'm great. Okay, I'm absolutely great. All right, good. Let you let me know when it's your bedtime. Okay. I'm a grown man. I got gray hair. That's right. You do what you want. What's that, yeah. honey? What's that, honey? That's Go right. away, mom. No, I. That's right, honey. I do what you want. <laughs> but you're somebody's gonna win this piece of wow. crap drone. It's terrible. It's awful. And that's the prize. No, it's not terrible. It flies. Come on, it, it flies. And I'll I'll give you a set of eyeballs too. But first, Sight let's game. play some more of your videos, huh? I'm all about it. Uh oh. Okay. Uh, is is leg work in the chat? Is William is leg work in the chat? Um, he, I've been watching. Uh, doesn't we'll look and see. I'll and let you. I'll holler at you if he is. Did I I'll miss? Watch. I think I missed. Uh, okay, yeah, I did. Uh, uh, okay, five uh, a five pounder th from uh, leg work. Thank you. He says, and I think this is Welsh, and I'm not even going to try to say it. Jason, you want to read that? Mm. Do you see Which one is it? So, uh, nah, I... Thank you. I'm scrolling. Thank you very Thank much. Thank you to him. Uh, speaking of, of William, he sent this video in. Are you familiar with the Welsh language? <laughs> no, sir, I'm not. Okay. Isn't uh, that a type of dog, a Welsh? Yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's Welsh it's spaniel about, or something. That's about my uh, my knowledge of the Welsh. Speaking of dogs, are you are you a dog lover? Oh, love dogs, yeah. Doggies are the best. Yeah. Uh, Legwork has a service that he uses his drone with to find lost dogs in the UK. And really? He, yeah, he says, "Hello, Ken. We were lucky enough to be my, his group, the dog group, was lucky enough to be featured on a Welsh-speaking TV show, and he sent me the segment." Uh, many thanks, wow. William, a.k.a. Legwork. Now, what you're about to hear, if if you've never heard the Welsh language before, I don't understand how anybody can speak it, but it's... Could you translate in real time there, for us? There is translation, thankfully, in the video. Oh, okay, good. And, and, and uh, William doesn't speak Welsh, but I think people who that speak Welsh, being so close to the UK, they all kind of know English, too. You know, like in Sweden, where they speak Swedish and English. You know Europeans, yes. they're also just yeah. worldly. Not yeah. like us Americans. Yeah. I speak Northern and Southern. <laughs> <laughs> I speak Georgia and I'll shoot your drone down. <laughs> That's right. Okay, so this is from Legwork. Let me know in the chat if there's anybody that can understand this. And it, it's, 
Okay, here you go. I, I got nothing else to say. We're ready. 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 we Man who went to the Julia, I'm going to cast her in this month. I'll get her Julia Gap, Lena Festinio, Gishes Lenny. Like my session, I'm a river, well, Han and Summer Vechan and Han Puisi Goigwais are drawn for my Sweden Canetai and Declan and not other than the deal. My name is Logan, but a drawn and help more in a quiet aunt. It's great what they're doing um, to find the dog. Cool. But to, to my American ear, the, the Welsh language sounds hard, you know? But it really is kind of kind of elegant. I, 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 no, I didn't like it. We were unable to fly the drone because of the Here's weather. Here's William. Um, but oh, usually English. when we arrive on the search, area we set up our equipment we would like to expand into thermal drones the benefit of using a thermal drone will greatly enhance our capabilities when we're searching and then ba- and then back to oh oh wait this is great man tipig mar cam gymeriad mwy a cyffredin mae perchennog ni neud pan man costi gi ydy hyn pero 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 that's Spanish. So if you're if you're uh, a Welsh dog, you understand yeah. what they're saying somewhat. Like you yeah. know, like my dog understands. Yeah. I don't want to say it too loud because he's right downstairs. Like you want to go outside, you want to eat that kind of thing, you know. <laughs> so when they're saying to their dog, like you know, their equivalent of you want to eat with, <laughs> you know, then the dog's like, yeah, yeah. man, I think I want to eat. But way to go, man, getting on the news with with that group. There's That's wonderful. Of, there's a lot of Florian Gergen in the chat, by the uh, way. Yeah. I know you I know you love it. Yeah. I know you love it. Yeah. And and I want to welcome to the Heronbirds. We got a new member. I think we're oh, I well over ten. Chris Zwolinski. Yeah, hey yeah, man. Yeah. Thank you and God welcome yeah. to the Heronbirds. Oh yeah. And uh W H M three with a five dollar super chat. Maybe he found Ooh, the emergency leg, stuff. Leg, work, leg works here too. William's here too. I just saw him go by. Oh, good. Good, good. Uh, it, William, is that super chat that you gave us, was that Welsh in there? Or did your keyboard break? <laughs> 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 and uh, back when I was in the plane, uh, Leonard Oglesby with a $5 super chat says, when are you going to drop right. turkeys a la WKRP? Are you familiar with that? I'm not familiar, sir. No. So you you don't, the the line as God is my witness I thought turkeys could fly means nothing to you. No, I mean not really. Is this like a movie reference or I'm going to give you homework after the stream's over Google Yeah. WKRP Turkeys. Watch the clip. It's the best thing w- about that sitcom ever. It, it's, WKRP. Yeah. Okay, got it. Have you heard of that show? WKRP? I was born in 1988. Oh, damn you. All right. Yeah. Uh, yeah, all right. Sorry. So let's see. <laughs> let's play a game, shall we? I want to give this thing I love away. Games. Let's do it. And the name of the game is Name That Plane. Our contestant Woo-hoo. today hails from Florida. He buys his watches in pairs. His name is Jason Shepard. Welcome, sir. Tell us a little bit about Thank yourself. You. Thanks, uh, Ken. I like uh, long walks on the beach, uh, gray hair, and sleeve tattoos. Excellent. You're going to be a great contestant. Now, pick me, pick me in the chat, and Jason will pick someone. And uh, if Jason can get at least seven correct, seven. then the person that he, yeah, the person that he picks will win this drone. It's a toy. It's got a camera on it. No GPS. But really, do you want it back? Who needs a GPS? <laughs> Seriously. Uh, I, have, I have my person. I have my okay, person. Okay, stop saying pick me. Stop saying pick me. And we have a contestant. Don't reveal it yet. I so, won't. I won't. So, all right. Now, uh, it's, a, it's an online game. And I'm going to mark down how many you get right. Okay. Right. Like how how specific are we getting? Is it 
Sesta 172 or is it Sesta 172 Lima model? Like how specific are we getting? Oh, it, it's my, please stop saying pick me. <laughs> You're going to break YouTube. All right. Uh, no, it's multiple choice. It should be pretty easy for, oh. for you. Yeah. So which plane is this? Nighthawk. It's a Nighthawk. Is it the Nighthawk? It is. Congratulations. You got that one correct. Mm. All right. Too tall to fly that. It's going to get. Oh, are you? Ooh, wow. Yeah. Uh, should I should I give the names or just the image? Yeah, well, I'd like to see the names. I don't know a lot of airliners. Let's let's see my options here. Yeah. Uh, um, it could be a three. It's a 330 Airbus. First one. You sure it's not this one? I kind of just wanted to say it. Fokker? <laughs> okay. Let's see. That's what it's called. Oh, yeah. Is it? Okay. So it's a, it's, yeah, it's a Fokker. Yeah. Like the movie. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I will not expand on that. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 747. Which, 747. Seven, That's okay. Easy. Boeing 747. All right. Wow. You're good, man. Hey, feel free to play Ooh. along in the chat. 57. 757. 757. Wow. It's just no fair having yeah. you on here. Ooh, um, that plane Super Hornet, Sup F-18. All right. Top right. All right, very good. I think it's getting more difficult. 787 Dreamliner, that's the, that's the new guy. How do you know these? They all look kind of the same. They got wings and Gosh. engines. <laughs> oh, my God. Um, 300 Airbus. You're a freaking savant. <laughs> <laughs> what is this one? Uh, wow. Um, I think I know what that was. Yeah, that's uh, that. Nope, that's the uh, Harrier. That's yeah. a Harrier. Dude, yeah. I, you look, look at the extra landing gear. It's doing a vertical landing right now. Oh yes, yes. Well, I could tell from the. I could tell from the jet configuration. <laughs> <laughs> Let me wow. let me skip down. Let me skip down. I want to see. I want to get to some like older Tri planes. Okay. He's gonna just name them as they whiz by. <laughs> let's see. Let's see. We got. Okay. Let's start. Let's start with, with this one. Can I get it in color? <laughs> yeah. I don't. I don't think it lets you skip. But let's let's go ahead oh, and. Oh. Uh, Dis. Uh, um. Dissault. Is it? It's not gonna let you skip. It isn't. It isn't. But uh, let's see. I think the, our our friend has already won, but let me go down. There were some older ones down here. Ooh, Ooh. <laughs> that's a turd, sir. That's called the turd. The turd, very good, correct. Uh, All right. Yeah, I don't, I don't know what that is. That's wow, a tough one. that was fun. That was our our first edition of Name That Plane. Hey, I did way better than than Name That Boy Band last time. You did. Remember. You did, and it feels good. Yeah, the Boy Band was embarrassing, and I know my boy bands. So, who's our winner? Our winner, Mr. John Scott. Congratulations, John Scott. Congrats, John Probably Scott. The only John Scott in America. Yeah, yeah. Uh, make sure you uh, email me here, kenherronupload at gmail.com. Make sure to include your music source because, as you know, if it's not epidemic, it's crap! <laughs> you think, do you think they'll be upset at that? Uh, no, epidemic won't be. No, no. But the no. Will be. Hey, they, yeah, they don't care. They don't care if he's if he's making up slogans. As long as it's selling, you know, as long as people are clicking. Yeah. So I appreciate that. Now, uh, there's something else I wanted to share. Everyone like name that plane, by the way. That's a good little hit. We could do name that drone. We can do some fun stuff with this, Ken. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. We can do that. Now. The show is coming up uh, almost over for today. Did I forget anything? Did I forget anything? You promised me you were going to sing a song. Oh. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, in the... In it's the, kind of like a promise, like a pinky promise. In the, in the pre-chat, in the pre-chat, and I start yeah. the, the pre-chat right, right around noon on Thursdays, there was a couple of people in there asking me if I was going to sing. Now, I'm flattered that you enjoy it. If you really do, or well, you're not just... It is actually my alarm to wake up to. Oh, well, that's nice. But there's, yeah. there's some people in there that, that cringe when I do it. And for those people, I'll say, I will wait until the very end of the show. And I'll Ooh. pick a song that is appropriate to the era in which we were talking with Michelle. 
back in the uh, late 90s, early aughts. A song by like Simmons. Backstreet Boys. No, 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 no. It was on a, it was an alternative rock station, and it's uh, by Semisonic, and it's appropriate for the end of the show because it's called Closing Time, and I'll sing that at the end of the... Got it. You know how that goes. Yeah, I got it. All right, no cool. Song. And uh, let's see. Anybody have any specific questions for Jason while we have him here? I mean, oh, yeah, happy he's, to answer any he's questions. He's a anything? wealth of knowledge. Mm, I don't know about that. And uh, the Scattered Thought says, <laughs> with $5, we want to hear you sing. All right, Scattered Thought. I'll I'll do it if if my if my voice is up to it. Uh, oh 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 oh. Okay, a lot of people sent this to me, saying I have to have her on the show. And I got her on the show. Was it the uk the ukulele lady? No, Bird maybe lady. She, maybe maybe she'll grace us with her presence another time. But uh, this okay. is Brooke White. She is in Thailand and she crashed her Mavic on a little island. I I saw this. You did yeah. Yeah, she's gonna I be on this. October twenty second next next week. Here's a little clip to remind you. This is the island I crashed the drone on. Not very big, but very steep. I knew getting the drone back was going to be challenging. I started devising a plan to climb the island, but still wasn't sure how feasible this actually would be. The DJ app said the drone was located 958 feet from the start location on the beach and 127 feet up. It was pinpointed on the top right corner, so that narrowed down the search area to here. I did a recon mission to figure out the best way to get to the island from the ocean. After much deliberation, I decided that going during high tide and in a kayak would give me the most height and therefore the best chance for actually climbing onto the island. This was my first oh sh moment of the day. I would have done exactly what she did if I were not 54 years old. <laughs> I, I, I would not have done it. You wouldn't? You know, th no. And then you got to think like getting back down is just as scary. Like well, I think she I jumped jump, off. But I got my dr I think she jumped. But, yeah. What do you do with the drone? You just well, You just hold it above <laughs> your head. You just hit the microphone. <laughs> Sorry about that headphone. Wear Sorry headphone wearers. Man, that was loud. Ear. Yeah. But no, you just hold it above your head. Right? Or you no, toss it down to far. the I'll, we'll, I'll have to watch next week yeah. and find out what happened. Yeah. Uh, so she's going to be on. Uh, her name is Brooke White. And. Uh, Can't wait. You know what? It's probably time to do. Would you write it? And it is brought Ooh, to you I'm by ready. Loom Cube. Thank you very much, Loom Cube, for sponsoring the Would You Write It uh, segment. And it's good that we have uh, Jason here for this as well. I'm ready. Don't forget to go to Loom Cube. Dot com and check out all of their cool video conferencing equipment because mm -hmm. you know we're doing a lot more virtual stuff these days yeah we've been using all their stuff lately they're super people yeah they're, they're a really nice uh, company you know uh mm -hmm. it's it's important it's important when you make an investment like that that you know you're giving your money to a, a good group of people and they are decent guys and so you can use my discount code to get yourself if you've been holding off on getting one of those strobes mm. to so that you can fly. And tell me, Jason, as a hobbyist, you can fly at night as long as you have one of these on there. Right? Visibility Whoa. for three statute miles? Am I wrong? Gosh, I don't, I don't want to I don't want to say live or not, Ken. I'm not 100% on that one. I think you can. I'm going to go ahead and say, mm. yes, you mm. can. As a hobbyist, yes, you can. You just can't make money unless you have a 107. Let me look it up. Let me look it up. Okay. But anyway, you can get this strobe if you if you want to uh, uh, fly at night and you have your 107. Get one of these. Have visibility for three statute miles. And they've lowered the price. So you you get the lowered price plus you can use that discount to get it even less. So there you go. So And the answer is? Super. Did you look it up? What's it? No, I wrote it down to look it up. Oh, you, oh I said, okay. I thought, I, I thought, we're, okay, I got you. <laughs> I'm, Sorry. I'm, okay, now you're making me doubt. I'm 90% sure that you can. <laughs> I, 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 maybe someone else is in the I, chat. I, 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 I can tell yeah. you that, I can tell you that I will risk my reputation by saying yes, as a hobbyist, as the rules stand right now, you can. Fair. I don't want, 
I don't. Are you are you wanting to tell me that I'm wrong, Jason? Ken, I love you, you too can. much for that. No, you can tell me. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Am I wrong? What's the rule? I, tell me. I. I uh, no, I, d I really don't know. Oh, I mean, okay, it's, it's okay, a okay. Okay, it, it, good. It, you could pass. I truly just don't know. Oh, I got you. Okay, I thought you were like being nice. Like, no, yeah. I wasn't. I wasn't being nice. I truly, I truly want to look it up just to confirm. Obviously, I, I know you cannot with a 107. You need a daylight waiver waving you from the rules of 107. But as a hobbyist, you're not. You're held to some 107 rules, but not all the 107 rules. So I just there's. Yeah, I just want to look it up to confirm. I don't want to pretend to know more than you do because I think. Oh, I'm, I'm not. Uh, no, it's all. But, yeah, but I just want I, to look it up. I am fairly certain you can as a hobbyist fly. It's quite possible. It's at, quite possible. At night. Of course, you have to follow all the all the rules, line of sight, and all that stuff. Everything that oh, yeah. a 107 person would. You just can't use the yeah. footage to to. Anyway, go ahead, get the strobe. Thank you, Loom Cube. And now, For other business, yeah. <laughs> would you write it? And I'm ready. This. Is not a lot of information about it. It's the Manta Grade drone, and uh, let me know in the chat if you would ride this thing. I've shown this before, but I wanted to bring it back for Jason because uh, I don't know. I don't like these manned drones that have the propellers underneath you. But yeah, you fall into them. Yeah, you fall into them. But this one, I might fly two oh. inches off the ground. What do you think? Oh. That's a like an awkward angle, isn't it? Like, it, is he controlling it at least? Yes. Yeah, it looks like it's yeah, pretty sloppy. Is. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> what is the redundancy? Like, if I lose an engine, like, there's no auto rotation, like in a helicopter, you're right. just coming down. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, and there's no padding. Some of these have like a big pad underneath, or they fly over water. I would would never do a uh, I, test flight over hard ground. Yeah, I, it. I mean, I would maybe do what he's doing because that's not going to hurt. You should go to the chiropractor when you crash. Right. Um. A re, I, I a, might little fa little phantom flying over it. Yeah. Um. A, a redesign would he, be to have the propellers way further away from your head. Certainly. Yeah. Yeah. He had a helmet on though, Ken. So, oh well, yeah. I mean, like you know, makes it okay. Whenever they wear a helmet in these things, I always say, well, at least they can retrieve the head. For the funeral. <laughs> wow! Know. Tell us how you really feel. I know. I mean, you got these carbon fiber blades of death spinning two inches from your yeah. head. You know, your jug. Wow. The object is to keep your jugular as far away from the spinning blades of yeah. death. But what are people in the chat yeah. saying? Let's see. Uh, whoa, that's sketchy. Uh, oh, it's, it's like fifty-fifty. I would say anybody that says hell yeah, they would ride that is probably under twenty years old. Possibly. Yeah. And have no kids or any family that they want to live for. Yeah, no responsibility. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. So it is time for the viewer video of the Ooh. week. We and the wait. viewer video of the week will win Freewell filters from freewellgear.com. Right. Thank you, Freewell. They've been a sponsor for a good long time providing the prizes. And uh, mm -hmm. you... When you just tell me what kind of uh, drone or camera you want your UV filters for, and they will, or your ND filters, and they will send them to you from China. Now, some people have won, mm. and weeks have gone by, and say, "Hey, where's my stuff?" Well, it's got to come from China. You know the whole saying, "Slow boat yeah. from China." Well, there's the reason why. Yeah. They, yeah. <laughs> now you got COVID on top of this. <laughs> yeah. Really right, yeah. So uh, the winner is. Justin Drones. All right. And I will warn you, it is an FPV video. So good. I'm get, ready. Get your bags ready to breathe into. Hey, Ken, new subscriber right. Justin Drones from YouTube. My buddy told me to send you a link to some FPV videos. You might want to showcase it. Thank you, sir, and keep up the good work. Justin Drones. This is uh, filmed in Detroit. And there's a lot of bandos, abandoned buildings in Detroit. Ooh, oh, yeah, unfortunately. Uh, I, I'm always looking for abandoned stuff to fly through, but uh, Detroit mm. is an FPV paradise, apparently. <laughs> oh, so, wow. Here you go. Viewer video Let's of the week. Let's do it. I think he's flying a mini quad. Ah. I don't think it's a five Ooh. inch. I think it's a uh, cool gap. Yeah, some kind of maybe naked GoPro setup or something.
I can fly acro without crashing, and I can do a little zip de doos and flip de dees, but the like through these gaps. Yeah, Ooh. I could I could do that, but some of these quick turns and the twists that they're doing and the redirections is just next level stuff. Yeah. How's your FPV coming along, Jason? Oh, it's not it's not at this level, man. That's what it, I see this and I get discouraged. Like I want to do that and I'm just not there. Are you, there's a there's a point where it clicks for you. Yeah. I think Bardwell says do three packs a day. I've been doing wow. seven. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Over it's your. Yeah. So if you're wondering where I, all the tires went. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, there's a, there's a moment where it just kind of clicks. The, the thing That's that cool. I can tell you is, you know, you're fighting gravity the whole time with your throttle. Yeah. And you can use momentum. They're using momentum sometimes when you see the quads going backwards, they've sort of thrown oh, it yeah. with their throttle. Oh yeah, these are little techniques that you you pick up just by trying. Don't be That's discouraged, so cool. Jason. Don't be discouraged. Can you motivate me and inspire me? Ah, oh, thanks, man. You know, I just got the new uh, Hero Nines, so I'm pretty actually excited to test them out. Oh yeah, I um, had a chance to test them out. I think it was uh, so. again on Rotor Riot. Drew Drew was talking about how the the nine might not even is so steady that it might not even need real steady, that uh, yeah. companion program that they use to make the, it. The, I have it here, I'll show you in a second. The okay. nine's bigger though than, I don't know, if, I, I mean, a new housing or something, I think. Oh, really? They must yeah, have I'll had to a second. pack more electronics. And they claim more battery life, which is nice. Oh, that is good. I'm just mesmerized by this. It's so cool. You're still flying your Cinewhoop, or what are you flying? Okay. Yeah, the, a Cinewhoop couldn't fly like this. No, no, it's too big and too slow. Yeah, and, and you know, ducted ducted drones won't be acrobatic mm -hmm. like this. But yeah, I'm, I, uh, my buddy Chris Skyfox just recently repaired it for me. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> yeah. I take my drones to the drone doctor, because I'm not at the point yet where oh. I can fix them all myself. Yeah, but yeah. I can sure break them good. Yeah. Oh yeah, no doubt. Anyway, there you go. That's good. Wonderful. That's Justin Drones. Viewer video of the week. Super Thanks for cool. sending that in. Let's let's see that nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First off, they come in these really cool cases. Uh huh. That's that's nice. But if you look, I haven't even got a chance. To, it literally just came out. I was out of town. I don't know how. I don't have a, any of my eights here to compare it to. But it's just it's thicker. Oh, and, okay. Uh, and they claim more battery life, but this is not going to fit in all my nice housings. Because, you know, I use these on the airplanes, too. And it's just not going to fit in any of my, uh, Hold on. Any of my other stuff. Hold on. Do you have plastic uh, still on there? You take that plastic yeah, off right now. You peel that. I literally that. just got them two seconds ago. You they peel were waiting it. For me. I ha you, know, <laughs> you better. Stand by. What, should he peel it right now, you guys? Does that freak, does that freak you out? Yo. Dana Williams with his keeping the plastic on everything. Look at He's this. got like a 10-year-old hard drive with plastic on it. Hold on, hold on. Yeah. Here's an 8. Okay, here's an 8. Yeah. Get this folk out of focus. There we go. There's an 8. Here's the 9 next to it. Check that out. Oh, yeah. It's, it's not much, but it's not going to fit. I mean, obviously, it'll work on my RAM mounts and everything, but my actual, like, housings and stuff, I don't... It's different. When you attach just the GoPros to a plane, do you put a safety tether on them? No, so they're actually fixed... Um, we had to go through the FAA and, and a bunch of stuff to get what's called an STC, which really? is a supplemental type certificate, oh. uh, to actually make it legal uh, to attach. They're actually affixed uh, with screws to the plane. Oh, okay. Because So when I visit, I thought I would just suction cup some on the, on the wings or something. But uh, you will lose it. You will lose it. The, suck, the RAM suction mounts I only use inside. And I have everything when you come down here. You don't need to bring... I mean, just bring SD cards. We can use my... I got nines and eights, GoPro. So oh, fine. okay. Well, that's just nice. Bring, just bring media. Excellent. All right. Be way better. And yeah. someone asked about the Pixel Buds. I am giving away uh, Pixel Buds. Ooh. That'll be next week. Next week. Cool. So, all right. Pixel Buds. Uh, did anybody is that, have is that any... Google trying to keep up with AirPods? Is that what the Pixel Buds are? Yeah. Like, yeah. because AirPods are the superior headphones too. Yeah, the Google Buds are pretty cool though. 
Oh, you have? Sure, I'm sure they oh, have. Let me show them to you. Hold on. I'll, I'll hang on. Yeah, I, I want to see them. I want to see them. I mean, I would never buy them, but I want to see them. Bye, Ken. Good talking to you, too. Are you, are you talking about me? Yeah, we missed yeah. you. Do you have your AirPods? Um, you don't have to get them. Don't worry about I, it. People they're way know over what they there. I'm like. wired. So. But, but here's here's the um, here's the little... Oh, they're different. And then you, you flip it, and then it lights up. You know, and you can put one in that your light. Room. That's a nice feature. That's worth it right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then, and then it charges with a USB C. But uh, that's cool. Yeah. So I'm giving those away. Uh, I'll announce the winner next week. And if you can, you still have time to enter by going and checking out my video where I put the Google Pixel Five on the FPV quad. Cool. And I guess that's it. Did I forget anything? No more videos. What there. about your song? I'll, I'll do the I'll do the song after the countdown after after we say goodbye so that anybody who is okay. is triggered by me singing uh, can just yeah. fade away. It, it it's, it's it's a trigger. And now it's here is Jason with the best joke of the evening. Um. Yeah, I got jokes. That's right. Hey, did you hear the <laughs> one? Uh, did you hear the rumor about the Amish butter? No. Well, I, I would tell you, but I don't want to spread it. Yeah, there you go. That's how you sell it. You do that. Yeah, at the, the, the end, you're like, you got to do that because if you don't do that, then nobody knows the joke is over. <laughs> awesome. We hope you enjoyed the show half as much as you would have if it had been twice as good. Uh, Jason, thank you so much. I know you're a busy thank guy. You, my friend. I appreciate you taking time to, to co-host. You want to do it again in like yes. a couple months or something? Absolutely. Wonderful. Anytime, my friend. Always. All right. Michelle Miller, she'll be back. She was funny. Thank you, Michelle, for awesome. being on. Man, it's been a very uh, good night for memberships. There's still a few mm -hmm. minutes if you want to get your last-minute membership in. Got a lot of those. We broke our, our thing of 10. Wanted to get at least 10 tonight. Got more than that. Thank you. Thanks for all the support with the with the Patreon and the memberships and the super chats. You, you know, you're really keeping me going. Until next time, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Buh. Bye. That's it. And then and then I gotta click this thing here.
Hello, I'm back. Can you hear me? Can you see me? Ah, uh, okay. <laughs> so I'll do this song just because it fits in with the theme of the kind of music that we were playing at the time in Birmingham, Alabama on WRAX 107.7. And uh, in the break of the song, the guitar solo, I'll share a little bit of video of my old dog, Jesse. She was a good dog. All right. I assume everybody who's here wants to hear me sing and is not cringing, so I'll give this a go, even though after talking for two hours, <clears throat> no excuses. Closing time Open all the doors and let you out into the world Closing time Turn all of the lights on over every boy and every girl Closing time One last call for alcohol So finish your whiskey or beer Closing time You don't have to go home But you can't stay here I know who I want to take me home I know who I want to take me home I know who I want to take me home Take me home Closing time Time for you to go out to the places you will be from Closing time This room won't be open till your brothers or your sisters come So gather up your jackets Move it to the exits I hope you have found a friend Closing time Every new beginning comes from some other beginnings And yeah I know who I want to take me home I know who I want to take me home I know who I want to take me home Take me home Closing time, time for you to go out to the places you will be from. I know who I want to take me home. I know who I want to take me home. I know who I want to take me home. 
take me home I know who I want to take me home I know who I want to take me home I know who I want to take me home Take me home Closing time Every new beginning comes from some other beginning's end Thanks for watching, book, and bye to you. Oh,